Hi everybody, this is Wendy Carpenter at Interfiber Studio Gallery in Door County. My last tutorial was about weaving a Impressionist tapestry based on a painting. Now I want to show you how to continue. I finished the tapestry, I have it on my work table, and I'm going to show you how to felt. In the tutorial, I showed you a tufting technique, and that's the area of the tapestry that I want to start felting. Okay, now I have the tapestry on my work table, and the tapestry measures, luckily for me, the same size as my work table. It is about three feet by four and a half feet. And you'll recognize it if you saw the first video, different areas that I was working on. Let me get a little closer for you and just show you where that tufting is. So right here, that's the tufting that I showed you um, on the tutorial. Now I didn't do anything with this section up to this point right here. Now I started doing some felting in this area. It's partially felted so you can see the difference already. And then as we get further up here, I've worked with it a little bit more. So more felting and all the way up. This one probably is just about done. The sage and the yellow straw. Now this green it must have a little bit of a synthetic material in it because it's not felting as easily. Um, it's just some yarn someone gave to me. It's nice yarn, but there's something in it that I'm not familiar with. You do have to have 100% wool. I use a steamer, seems to work the easiest, and simply use a small brush on the steamer. My steam is releasing now. You can see it in the video. And the way I like to do it is to simply set your steam brush right on the fabric itself and then just kind of move it back and forth. It's a good idea to go from both directions. And to just keep doing that until you get it as felted as you want. Now the other part of the tapestry, I did steam a little bit without the brush, but I didn't want it to felt, I just wanted it to fill in a little bit. I have a sheet underneath the tapestry that's wet, and I like to go hot cold because that felts easier. And you can even use a little bit of a steam iron. Um, like in this area, I steamed it a little bit um, with an iron, no brush. You do have to put soap on your wool when you're felting. I just use Dawn and I put it in a little spray bottle, the blue that you see there. I like distilled so it protects my machine, distilled water. Here's how to start right from the beginning. This is the section of tufted material on my tapestry that I didn't do anything to. I start with distilled water and pouring the distilled water on the tapestry, just enough to get it a bit wet. And then spraying some Dawn soap. Lather it up a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna get my steamer. It's hard to do the video and demonstrate at the same time. I wish I had someone doing the video part. So now I'm starting with the steamer. And you have to do this both directions. And remember I have that sheet, flannel sheet underneath that's also wet. And so that helps felt it from the bottom and the top. And you do this until you get a texture that starts like this, this tufting just loops in the um, inlay until you get a more fuzzy felted area like that. And then this part, especially the sage, is almost done. Um, you won't see the fuzziness when I'm completely done. It will just um, be a nice kind of matted look. I might even go in with a dry felting pin 
at the very end once it's completely dry. And that's really all that there's to it. It takes time. You really have to do it for quite a while. But I love the, the outcome um, after it's done. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share. I appreciate that you were here with me, Wendy Carpenter at Interfibers. Bye now.